Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add and crop images and photos in Adobe InDesign. Let's go. There's three different ways to add a photo or image in InDesign. The first way is to start with the Rectangle Frame tool. Click it in the left toolbar, or use the shortcut, the letter F on your keyboard. Click and drag your mouse to draw your frame, and don't worry too much about the size or the shape. We're gonna talk about resizing that at the end of the video. Once you've drawn your shape, go to File, place or you can use a shortcut command or control d that'll open a finder window where you can select the photo from your computer that you want to insert select your photo and click open and it'll place that photo right into the frame that you just drew and the photo will be at its original size i'm going to click the select tool or the letter v and move this off to the side for now the second way is a little bit backwards but it's the same steps you'll start with file place or the shortcut command or control d Select your photo, click open, and then you can either click once to place your photo at its original size, or we'll go back to place, select our photo. You can click and drag to draw your own frame that the photo can sit inside of. I'll delete these two images and show you the third way, which is my favorite way to add a photo. For this method, you'll need to have your finder window open nearby, and you can simply click and drag the photo you wanna use right onto your artboard. Once you click and drag, click once to activate InDesign again. And then from here, you have those same two options. We can click once to place our photo, or we could have clicked and dragged to draw our own frame. Once you have your photo in a frame, InDesign treats it as two separate objects. The frame it lives in, the blue outline, and then the photo itself, which you can select by either hovering over the bullseye in the middle until your cursor turns to a hand and clicking once, or you can just double click anywhere inside that frame to select the photo itself. And the photo itself will have a dark orange outline. So you can tell the difference between selecting the photo and selecting the frame. To crop your photo, you can change the size of it with the corner and side controls, which will adjust what part of the photo is showing inside that frame. And in the opposite way, if you have a photo that you wanna fit fully inside your frame that's getting cut off, you can use the fitting tools, which you can access from the object menu, go down to fitting and select from these options here, or you can right click on the image and select from options here. Most of the time the fill frame proportionately will be the one that you wanna use and that will just resize the photo to fit inside the frame. Or you can find these same tools up here in the top of your toolbar near the right side. And if you hover over each of these icons, it'll show you which one is which. If you wanna move your photo around inside the frame, let's say this was a square, you can select the photo itself either by double clicking or clicking that bullseye. Then you can put your mouse over the corner, hold down the shift key as you click and drag to resize your image inside the frame. If you just click and start dragging, you can't really see the changes that you're making, but if you click and hold it for just a second and then start dragging, you'll be able to see the parts of your photo that are getting cut off. You can also rotate the frame or the photo inside the frame. To rotate the frame, select it so the blue outline is showing, then put your cursor just outside one of the corners until it turns to this curved arrow, then click and drag to rotate like this. Another way to rotate is to select your object and then use the tools up here in your toolbar to either rotate it at a specific angle or to select zero and reset it. To rotate just the photo inside, again, either double click or click on your bullseye, and then you can do the same things. You can hover over a corner, click and drag to rotate just the photo inside, which you'll see when I do that, it gets cut off by the frame, or use your tools at the top of the toolbar and select a specific angle. Now that our photo and frame are a little bit off, we can use our fitting tools to quickly get it back to center and to fit nicely inside of our frame. And lastly, the tool you'll probably use the most is to resize the frame and the photo together at the same time. We already figured out if you resize just the frame, the photo stays put. So the shortcut that will probably become your best friend in InDesign, hold down Command if you're on a Mac or Control on a PC, and the Shift key at the same time as you are dragging a frame from the corner to resize both the frame and the photo together. The Command or Control key keeps the frame and photo together, and the shift key keeps everything proportionate so the photo doesn't get stretched or distorted like this. That's no good. So always make sure you're holding down the shift key when you're resizing photos. 
If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.